Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Raka Kwedash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a quick video um, to bring some information forth. You know, that this individual by the name of Saga La Barak Yam, all right, he's teaching false doctrine. Okay, he teaches the same as Yahweh the Maccabees. Uh, that, you know, King David is among us, okay, which the elders and apostles of Great Millstone do not teach. Okay, now I will subscribe to this individual, you know, as of a couple of hours ago. Uh, but as I was watching him speak, or listening to him speak, rather, um, he started speaking with madness. You know, so I, you know, I, I I took um, <laughs> the advice, all right, as he titled his lesson, just unsubscribe if you disagree, and I kindly obliged. You see, because at, at the end of the day, man, you know, scriptures say there's going to be divisions because of Yahweh Shai, okay? So we understand that. And we also understand that you know, as we as we move closer to the finish line, all right, there's going to be a lot of individuals that get swayed, okay, by false doctrine. You see, it's going to happen, and we just hope and pray that we're not one of those individuals that that happens to, man. <laughs> you know, and one of the brothers, the beloved brother, um, Awala my war. Um, hit me up, you know, on this, on this situation as well. Um, I guess he was watching, but, um, yeah, he was just as surprised as I was, you know, cause this dude, he seems like a solid, um, you know, man of the Lord, you know, he seems solid. I didn't really pick up any obscurities in the spirit as I've been watching him for the past few months. You know, he seemed pretty solid. You know, but hey, he wants to lean towards false doctrine. Hey, it's all through the spirit of the Lord. You know, all man's goings are of the Lord. You see, so we just hope and pray that we don't get, um, you know, swayed by false doctrine. You know, Lord willing, Abaratiza. You know, that we can stay within the courts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, we can stay within the house of David, the house of Dawada. Now, um, I also, um, you know, shared this video with a few brothers, you know, within the body, you know, but the spirit came upon me to, uh, you know, bring this forth, you know, woe to him, you know, that keeps back his soul from blood, man. You know, this, this has to be, um, this has to be, uh, you know, brought out to the congregation, man. You see, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been able to go to sleep, man. You know, I, I didn't even try, you know, but yeah, like scripture says, man, let's get this. Let's start. Let's open up here in the book of, um, what is that? The book of Amos, the third chapter in the third verse. And it reads, can two walk together except they be agreed? And the answer is no. Two cannot walk together except they be agreed, man. You see? And this is why. Vision in Israel, right? Because of what? The truth. And the brother came out and spoke about King David believing and bringing the precepts out in an over an hour long video, believing that King David, you know, is among us. Believing that King David is among us 
and that he will be manifest. And I believe the same thing. I'll go ahead and put it out there. So now you can go ahead and send the video to whoever got to be sent to, right? And do whatever it is you got to do. Because it's all the spirit. And we'll go from there. Because that's the part of the division. I believe King David is among us as well. And that Ha'adawan, Yahawah, Yahawah Shai is going to manifest King David. And that's according to the, to the scriptures. According to the spirit. Right? According to the spirit. That's what I believe. And that's what I have, belie have believed for some time. Right? And as many things as you come into the truth, that you talk and understand, some things being right, some things, you know, not always, um, not always being on point or men that's in the truth. So just because you're a part of a particular body don't make you a man of the Lord. Or you, you, you're in a part of, 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 of a camp that's, that might be within the circumcision doesn't make you a man of the Lord. Just because, you know, you have a big following, you got 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 or whatever, doesn't make you, you know, a righteous man. It doesn't make you wise. It doesn't make you above reproof and correction. And no one ever said that. But the point is, hey, what makes you a man of the Lord is the doctrine. Okay? The doctrine is going to determine if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with you. You see? Because me, myself, okay, and, and um, the camp I'm with, my brothers over here, right, prisoners of hope, we're not great millstone. You see? But guess what? We teach the same doctrine that we've been taught by, by the elders and apostles on down. Like the beloved elder, um, elder apostle Raka says, we're an offshoot camp of Great Millstone. We teach the same exact doctrine. We, we don't teach anything different. You see? Because we wholeheartedly believe, okay, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is dealing with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, point blank, period. And all the men joined unto them. You see? And I'm sure what you've learned. You've learned from them. Of course, you of course. You didn't just wake up knowing the scriptures, man. <laughs> you didn't just wake up knowing how to break down the book of Revelation, man. Are you for real? You see, but this is what happens when men get proud. Pride is a hey, pride is a motherfucker. It will blind you, but at the end of the day, hey, all men's goings are of the Lord. You know, so we just hope and pray that we stay in the good graces of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and he doesn't deceive us. You see, but back to my point, the doctrine is gonna it determines if you uh if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with you as a man of the Lord. What you're teaching pursuant to let's get this real quick. And this is not gonna be long, you know. I just want to make the point and we moving on. The book of 2 John chapter 1 and verse 9 and it reads, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Hamashiach hath not Yahweh. See? So if you're teaching doctrine contrary to the doctrine that the pastors According to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's heart, okay, are feeding us the knowledge and understanding with. Guess what? You're going off. And that makes you not a man of the Lord. Let's continue on. He that abideth in the he that abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he hath both the Father and the Son. You see? Let's move on. The book of Jeremiah. Let's get that. The third chapter. And the, I'll start at the 14th verse. The verse 15 is the point, but I'll start up a verse. Right? Turn, O backsliding children. Right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? Say it the Lord, for I am married unto you. See? And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and will bring you to Zion, uh, referring to the elect. You see? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is married unto us. Uh, scripture says he's likened uh, Zion 
um, to a comely and delicate woman, man. You see, he's married unto us, man. You see, and this time around, only only the remnant, only the elect of Israel is going to be delivered. Okay, and what you believe in, the doctrine that you follow, hey, is going to determine if you have that the why. Okay, spoken of in Ezekiel, what's that, the ninth chapter. Okay, that mark of exemption. <laughs> Any other form of doctrine is going to get you killed. And or it's going to limit... Uh, um, Eliminate you from being part of the first resurrection, man. You see? Because the elect is going to all speak the same thing. You see? Let's continue on. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. And we know that that word heart in the Hebrew is what? It's lab, which means your mind. So here it is, Yahweh Bashim Shai has given pastors according to his mind, man. You see, this is why there's no stones unturned when it comes to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. Everything's touched upon, man. Yeah, Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter. Yeah, everything's touched upon. You see? Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see? And those of the remnant, the elect, that knowledge and understanding is going to be on the same, um, it's going to be in the same mind. Okay, that knowledge and understanding is going to be all based off the same mindset. Okay? My beliefs or my mindset towards, um, for example, uh, the Karagma, you know, one of the brothers in the camp are not going to have a different, uh, they're not going to think that the Karagma is um, an embargo versus, versus the Sihip. No. Every brother in the camp understands and believes that the, that the Karagma, okay, that grain of rice, okay, that uh, Revelations 13 and 16 is the RFID micro C hip. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Anything outside of that is false doctrine. Why? Because the Spirit revealed the truth, man. The Holy Spirit is resting upon the planet Earth, man. And it's only resting upon those, okay, of the elect. Remember, Scripture says the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. There's a lot of deceived individuals out here, man. A lot of individuals claiming that they're, the men, of the, they're men of the Lord and they're being deceived. It's a figment of their imagination. How do we know that? The doctrine they teach. Let's go here. The book of 1 Corinthians. The first chapter. In the 10th verse and it reads. Now I beseech you brethren. And this is Apostle Paul speaking. By the name of our Lord. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That ye all speak the same thing. He's not speaking the same thing. Nor is Yahweh the Maccabees. The elders and apostles don't teach that. You see? That's a wayward doctrine. And that there be no divisions among you. But that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. You see? Anything contrary to that, hey, we can't walk together, man. We can't walk together, man. You see? And at the end of the day, 
Yeah, we're going to know. <laughs> we're going to know who were the real men of the Lord. Okay, we're going to know who was telling the truth. At the end of the day, we're going to know who Yahweh Bashim Yahushai was truly dealing with, man. Okay, as these visions, all right, which are the prophecies, continue to uh, come to fruition. You, you see? And as we get closer to the end, as these calamities, okay, begin to intensify and rest upon the planet Earth, okay, when that great multitude, all right, kindled over us, comes upon us, man, okay, then we'll see, okay, who's Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai's chosen, man. Then we'll see who, was, who had the right doctrine the whole time, okay, because Scripture says you should know a man by his fruits, man. All right. And it's clear that the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone on down, man. All right. Going all the way back to uh, the beloved Abba Bibbins, man. Hey, the, the spirit of the Lord's dealing, man. If you can't see that, <laughs> hey, you either waxed, with pri waxed over with pride, hey, or your how about Shemiel Shah's blinding you. Either way, it's one and the same, man. Either way, it's one and the same. Let's close out here. The book of Ezekiel. Chapter 14. And verse 9, and it reads, And if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet and will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. You see? <laughs> hey, and that's a scary thing, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai can deceive you to speak a false thing just to judge you for it, man. Hey, because of pursuing the Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, man, false prophets are going to be visited with evil. You see, because what this what this false doctrine do It scatters deceit. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai does not take that lightly, man. You see, hey, so it will behoove you to man. You might want to fast, pray, and meditate, okay, uh, on what you teach and on what you believe as far as. King David being on the planet Earth now. You see? I'm sure you've learned by the elders and apostles, man. I'm sure you learned from them, man. You'll be a liar if you said you didn't. Okay? Let's hear this again. But anyone, just say what you got to say. It's all it's all through the spirit of the Lord. So there's always been a division in Israel, right? Because of what? The truth. And the brother came out. And spoke about King David believing and bringing the precepts out in an over an hour long video, believing that King David, you know, is among us, believing that King David is among us and that he will be manifest. And I believe the same thing. I'll go ahead and put it out there. So now you can go ahead and send the video to whoever got to be sent to, right? And do whatever it is you got to do. Because it's all the spirit. And we'll go from there. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwathiam were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak with us. Shalom.